Today in the news, we got some AMD, Nvidia, Google, OnePlus, Crytek, and more. Yep, it's a tiny news day. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. The company decided that their Epic lineup needed a little uh, sprucing up in the low end. So they just released some pretty insane 8, 16, and 24 core processors. The 8 core Epic 7F32 brings in considerably higher clock speeds at 3.7 GHz base and 3.9 GHz single core boost compared to the 2.9 GHz all core boost on the older Epic 7251. It also gets the same number of PCI E lanes at 128, although this time it's on PCIe Gen 4. It has four times the amount of L3 cache at 128 megabytes compared to the 7251, and it has a much higher memory bandwidth. There's also a new 16 core called the 7F52 with once again much higher clocks, PCIe Gen 4, faster memory, and four times the L3 cache. The specs are on the screen right now if you wanted to take a look. And there's also a new 24 core, the 7F72, with similar improvements. Price wise, yeah, they're a little expensive, especially for an 8 core CPU at $2,100 each per thousand units. But for some businesses, the core count is usually not on the priority list when buying an Epic CPU. The support and the many extra features are. Moving on, we got some Nvidia slash Mojang news. We've been waiting for it, or at least I was, and it's almost here. The official ray traced version of Minecraft will begin its public beta on the 16th of the month. Now, as you might know, this will only be available for the Bedrock Edition, so if you only have the Java version, you're gonna have to shell out some cash. In smartphone news, the two new OnePlus devices have finally been unveiled, the OnePlus 8 and 8 Pro. Personally, I'm a little bummed that both models will have a punch out display. The pop out camera was actually a great way to have a full screen with no interruptions. Heck, I'd even say that the teardrop style camera on my OnePlus 6T is better since it actually hides the uh, status bar very easily, while with a hole like that, the status bar is going to be pretty thick. Anyways, the new phones come equipped with a Snapdragon 865, up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, and up to 256 gigabytes of storage. As for the differences, we got a 90 hertz display for the 8 versus 120 hertz for the Pro. Bigger screen, battery, and better camera on the Pro also. You can check out a full comparison on the Hardware Canucks channel right up here. That's the right area, right? Speaking of smartphones, it looks like Google is going to let go of Qualcomm for their next gen flagship devices. Google already has some custom silicon in their phones, like the Pixel Visual Core, but according to a report from Axios, future Pixel devices, so smartphones, Chromebooks, and tablets, would be powered by a co-designed chip. The chip is codenamed Whitechapel and is designed with the help of Samsung, so it will likely be produced on their five nanometer process. It should feature eight cores and optical optimizations for uh, machine learning and always on Google Assistant. According to that same report, it could happen as early as next year. I wonder if Samsung's partnership with AMD on RDNA for smartphones will make its way to Google. That could be pretty cool. In gaming news, it looks like a PC favorite might be coming back. The Crytek managed Crisis Twitter account has just tweeted receiving data after a two year hiatus on Twitter. All we got was a tweet though, but rumors have been going around pointing at a remaster of the first game. It could also be Crisis 4 or even a comic, but the story wrapped up well at three in my opinion. This could be the perfect time for Crytek to show off their CryEngine ray tracing, which is hardware agnostic, meaning it doesn't matter if you have a GPU with ray tracing hardware or not. How many of you guys played the first Crisis? I only played the third one because uh, it came free with my 7970 and boy was it a good looking game for its time. All right, so that's pretty much it for the news guys. If you were wondering, my ribs are definitely cracked and I look forward to the next four to six week of pain. It really hurts all the time. Ah! So content month is getting a tiny delay. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take, take care. I'm being very careful to not hurt myself. Oh. Oh. I sounded like a villager right there. A ray traced villager. <laughs>